I just remember seeing producers from 20th Century Fox come and was like, wow, you know, they're big time. And uh, we got to, honestly, I, I, I look at that movie and the people that we, producers that we worked with on that movie, it's pretty spectacular. We worked with John Landau, who is um, responsible for Titanic and now Avatar. He's James, Cam James Cameron's like right hand man. They always work in tandem, and so like to work with him, we worked with Suzanne Todd, who's responsible for all the Austin Powers movies, and uh, she just did Alice in Wonderland, and she did Memento, like uh, an amazing producer. Um, there's uh, Chris Melodondry, who just did Despicable Me. Um, David Coatsworth was our line producer, and he's like been everywhere. It's just weird to look back at that and see how many talented people, and then all the actors in Australia, they're just like a small group of people and they are just like the most amazing and most professional people. If they weren't acting in our movie, they were part of the crew. And uh, it was so awesome just to work over there. I don't really know the whole story of how this all went down, but the, the girl who played uh, Dulcia, G Gabrielle, um, she got sick and she had to go into the hospital and have surgery. And so, uh, she couldn't do the movie. So they had to recast her and they recast her with Mershka Hargaday. I can't say her name right. So she was cast as Dulcia and so we went in and uh, we filmed a ton of stuff with her and that was part of, Dulcia was giving us each powers and we had to be put to a test and I think that was my test. I had to learn how to do these sticks and go out and fight with all that stuff. Um, and so I know we shot that but it, it didn't make it into the movie because I guess the studio wasn't happy with the way that the movie was going. I don't want to say that they weren't happy with Marishka. I don't know if that's the truth. Um, it just wasn't ending up right. And at that time, uh, Gabrielle had recovered. It was like four weeks or six weeks later. And so they said, okay, well, let's bring her back. So they let Marishka go and they brought back uh, Gabrielle. And uh, we filmed with her and they had cut all that they cut all that stuff out and I don't think we had to do anything anymore other than stand by a fire pit and she blew dust in our face and and there you go. So uh, so that was easier for us or easier for me. So yeah, there was a lot of stuff that got cut. I know the studio wasn't happy with the way that it was turning out. I think we had, I know we had rats uh, as, instead of putties, we had rats. Um, and the studio was like, no, they don't like the rats. So then we had the tangus, the birds. And so those came in and those were amazing. Those stunt guys, many props to them for the things that they did. I mean, I just remember <laughs> we worked in a pit, uh, like a construction pit. They were building a high rise and it was just this, I think it's eight or 10 stories down in this construction pit. and. Uh, they would put them up on a crane and they would just fly them way up into the air and then just drop them as they, to make it look like they were flying. And I'd be like, oh, I would be so sick if that was me. I just, I just can't even express. The things that go into TV shows and movies people don't know and so many people aren't given credit where they deserve it. And so, um, I don't know, it's an interesting experience. You know, we would just get the, I know Amy Jo and I would get the giggles a lot. Um, we would just have to look at each other and we would start laughing and um, she's so much like my, uh, she's a really close person to me and she's so much like a sister to me and so she and I have always had a great chemistry together and uh, Jason and I uh, were really good friends and um, he and I would joke around all the time. He's, he's a little, um, what's the word I want to use? I'll just say a trickster. He likes to play a lot of practical jokes or just do mean things. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, he put a he put a fly in a peanut butter sandwich. I, you know, I was I was stuck on set and I couldn't leave set to get food from craft service and I was starving, and I was just like, oh, could somebody make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or whatever? And he's like, oh yeah, I will. And I thought, oh god, that's so nice that he's gonna do that for me. I really I remember thinking in my heart, wow, that's so nice that he's doing that. Little did I know that he had placed a fly in that sandwich, and he brought it back to me and I ate it all and didn't find out till afterwards that. He's like, oh my God, dude, I totally put a fly in there. And so I ate a fly. That's, that's what I get. And, uh, you know, he, he was just always doing crazy stuff. He, I had a couch in my dressing room and he, uh, I came into my dressing room one day and he had signed to Dave, uh, I'm the best ranger ever or something like that. Jason, David, Frank, Tommy, like he signed my couch. <laughs> so for like, uh, I don't know, a good two years, I had this couch with his signature all over it. So. 
Thanks, Jace. And, uh, you know, he broke a brush over my head in the wardrobe room. He just came in and went, and the brush snapped on my head, and everybody was, like, shocked and felt sorry for me. But, uh, you know, it's all good. So it's just joking. It didn't hurt. I don't remember it hurting anyway. Uh, it's kind of a convoluted question for me. Um, you know, and I, I'll just give an answer that the, the creators would want me to give. So, uh, you know, there comes a time when you kind of outlast your, or out, outlast the series, whatever, and they just probably felt it was time for Billy to move on. So, uh, I just remember getting a phone call just saying, look, you're not going to be a Power Ranger anymore, but we're going to leave you on and you can be Billy and you'll just be an advisor and helper to the team. And I was like, okay. So that was uh, how that came about. And then your reaction was what? Okay. <laughs> my reaction, is that what you asked? Yeah, your reaction, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, my reaction was, you know, obviously there's, there's a sort of, there's a little bit of a disappointment, but at the same time I can sort of understand where they were going with the show. And I think Haim Saban, the creator, always liked the idea of how it was going in Japan. I guess they replace the actors every year. And I know he always liked that concept because we would hear that all the time, like you can be replaced. So, um, you know, and I just think for him, he was sort of basing it on, I don't know, I, I can't speak for him. Um, and I don't mean any disrespect on any level, but I, I know that was sort of a thought process, and that's sort of how the series went after, I don't know if it was after Zio, because I never, I never really watched the show. So um, I know they started replacing the cast, it seemed like every year, sort of, and it kind of got into that routine. And I don't know if that's what he's gonna do now. Um, I hope he doesn't. Yeah, I, I hope he doesn't, because I think, uh, and I can't speak for fans, I don't know, but I, I think, I think, the original cast, we had such a great chemistry working together, and I think the fans really enjoyed us. And I think when the movie came out, a lot of people were like, wait, they didn't know how to react to it. All of a sudden, there's three new people, and I don't know. I just got a lot of mixed emotions from people when that, when that all took place. But so, you know, I think he's picked a great network for the new series to come on. I love Nickelodeon, and I think. I don't know, I really have a good feeling about it. I don't know if it'll have the success that the original Power Rangers did, but, you know, and I know he looks at it from a business standpoint of it's sort of just a 30-minute toy commercial. Um, so for him, it's about selling toys. It's not about the actors, per se. So that's great, I get it. So, um, you know, I, I wish him the best of luck, and I, I hope I hope it's as successful as it was before, and I, I just hope that he holds, he keeps the cast around for like maybe three seasons, and then maybe decides to replace.